Hello everybody. Let's talk about AI ethics and why we should care. AI ethics is actually not a new topic. It has been around since the invention of technology, the question of what is ethical with technology and how is progress actually possible and ethical. It's as old as technology and philosophy itself. But why is it so interesting now? What has changed? Why is, in the, especially in the last few years, everybody talking about it and the topic really picking up? We've heard a lot of talk from Ray Kurzweil, Elon Musk and others who painted great scenarios that were scary and dark about the point of singularity and Terminator and Skynet are taking over the world. But that is actually not the real risk. The real risk is far more present, and as AI becomes more and more around us, used in small and unimportant decisions, it is becoming more and more present. But from the small decisions, this actually has moved into more and more big stake decisions, like university admission, school grades, promotions, and the possible impact has moved from many small to very few and big ones. The problem with AI is that it can quickly become an accelerator of injustice. That's why we need governmental guidelines and frameworks. But we have two big problems in developing them. The first one is what we call the Colin Rich Dilemma. When the solutions are developed, we can't really see the impact they have. Once we see the impact it has on us as a society, they're already too adapted into us, our real life to really react. We've seen that with Facebook, with Instagram, and all the others. The second problem is the pacing problem. The technology, de technology de develops so much faster than our society, economic, legal system, and who only change um, incrementally. So what is the solution? You need to put AI ethics, fa fairness, and awareness of bias at the start of every AI project. We have to make sure that every AI we develop is human-centric. What do we need to do to build trust in AI? First of all, AI has to be explainable. We have to be able to un explain how the decisions are made. What are the terminating factors? How is the decision um, derived? And if somebody is impacted by AI, they have the right to say, why? Why do I not get the loan? Why am I not going to university? The second factor is fairness. We have to make sure that people are treated fair and equally. We have to have procedures in place that make sure that if you drift from bias, um, that it comes back, that we monitor it, and that we have a fair treatment of all. The third one is robustness. Trustworthy AI needs to be robust. It needs to be adversarial against adversarial threats. And it needs to have um, systems in place that make sure it, we cannot be tempered with. The fourth one is transparency. Transparency reinforces trust and disclosure to stakeholders across roles promoting it. And last but not least is privacy. We have to make sure the data of the people that is included in the AI system is kept private and is only available to people who are supposed to have access. I once had a student asking me if it's not cheaper to just build one solution for all. Why do we have to consider different groups of diversity to build AI and trustworthy AI? Why do we have to consider um, bias? Is it not cheaper to have one solution that fits all? But that is basically just like saying we build, build, build one set of clothes that is all tailored on the average white male, American male. You will target a few, but you will lose many. The other problem that we have is we need to have clear responsibilities within the company. Who's accountable for AI? Is it the CEO, the CIO, or the CTO, or the business leader who makes a decision based on the AI solution? We have to make sure the right person has the right training to be able to do that job. And very important is we need to have diversity of the team that builds AI. Diversity decreases the error of a crowd. Um, another thing you have to consider when you build AI solution is clear MLOps procedure. And I'll go into that, what it actually means later. 
But ML Op, you have to make sure that the AI you build is monitored, is transparent, is audible. You have to have a good data governance framework around it. Um, and last but not least, I'd like to end up with um, a saying of um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, um, when there are enough women in the Supreme Court, and she said, when there are nine out of nine. Um, and people were surprised and shocked, but her reaction was, she had nine out of nine men for so many, so why should we not have nine out of nine women? The problem is, if you build an AI solution based on the data who was previously successful to do the job, you will never get a single woman into that role because AI makes the decision on the data and what has been successful on the past. So when you build a solution, ask yourself right at the beginning, is it actually possible to do that? Is it actually supporting to build a world that you want to live in? And only if you can build a solution that actually enables that, then you should go ahead. Start with ethical design at the beginning and don't try to fix it at the end. Thank you.